today is Memorial Day and I am out watering this morning before I go to play golf. You see cute Alice. Anyway, it is so pretty. My yard is so pretty that I am going to share it with y'all today. There's my pretty Alice. Here are my pretty butterfly bushes. I've already cut my swamp flowers back down so that they'll bloom in the fall. And there's one of my 10,000 bird feeders. Here's my Rosa Sharon, already blooming. My Stella Dior's have already bloomed. Oh, what is that tall purple thing? Anyway, moving right along here. Here is several pots of wishbone. And here is my herb trough which got tarragon and, what is that? A cat has surge. These are my apple trees, you'll see. And as you'll see, we even have apples this year. We're hoping to get some apples. We've sprayed them with hot pepper. We've heard that'll keep the squirrels away. But they've got apples this year. Some trees have more apples than other trees. So, when our crop comes in, we'll mail them to you. This right here is the finest example of a Maxima coneflower you're ever going to see in your life. Isn't it beautiful? You know, this is the spot I keep digging it up, but it comes back. These are my blueberry bushes. And if you'll notice, I'm going to have to come out here and pick blueberries today because so many of them are already ripe and it's not even June so I must do that here's another blueberry bush another blueberry bush we're over by the pergola this is my bed my spring phlox is already gone I've got a couple of daisies going here Solomon seal I think that's called wild geranium. I know y'all are finding this fascinating. Oh, what is that purple thing? Now this bed is where the poppies were, but now my beautiful daisies. You know, I grew these from seed. They're here. This bed has become shady. So I've moved all my tiger lily back here, and that'll bloom later in the summer. And I have a little bit of cross vine back there. Aren't the daisies beautiful, beautiful, beautiful? You know, y'all could make a video and send it to me. Here is another bed, and these are my yellow, Asiatic, whatever you call it, lilies, but they haven't bloomed yet. Just getting ready to pop open. And this is where I moved all my Lenten roses. I dug up my uh, Japanese anemone, and I put all my Japanese and eat, I mean my Lenten roses back there. Oh, I wonder what all this is. I wonder who would give you any of this. Can't imagine. This is my beautiful, beautiful yellow butterfly bush that, Nan that Virginia Sellers Davis gave me. It's beautiful. Now we get into my cutting garden. My very pride, you know, it took me years to get the cut and garden in. Right here, we've got some little okra plants and basil and peppers. And here we got dill and we just reseeded our greens. And here, ooh, these are all Casablanca lilies. Aren't they going to be beautiful? And here we have more greens that we just planted again. Here in the back are my peonies. They've, a couple of them bloomed. I'm hoping to go. Now this is my dahlia bed. See these beautiful dahlias already blooming. And then I have these little bitty ones. They're doing so well this year. Here's another one. This is its first bloom. Isn't this thrilling for y'all to see my garden? Here are my zinnias. I've got this huge bed of zinnias. It's gonna be just wonderful. 
Now it's going to start getting noisy because I've got birds in my birdhouses and they're very, very vocal. They're my beautiful zinnias. There's my beautiful cutting bed. If y'all were here, y'all could cut. Not that you would, of course. How rude. Oh, now these are my most favorite daylilies. They're my peach daylilies. Did I give y'all some? My niece gave them to me. They're about bloomed out. They've just been gorgeous. I've loved them. Here's some more hydrangeas. Now this bed over here, I had to totally replant because it went from, oh, what are those purple things in there? See, I've got Maxima cone flowers in here and some salvia and, and uh, cone flowers and zinnias and uh, rutabecchia. It's going to be real pretty this summer. And these are my parrot lilies. Aren't they gorgeous? They've been so pretty this year. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes my husband home from the store. Can you say hey? Hey, everybody. Good morning to you. He's had a little coffee situation. In the corner there are my ginger lilies and my salmon ginger lilies. I had to move everything. My sister gave them to me. This is my birdhouse that the fuss budgets are in. And I think one of the reasons they fuss is because someone just likes to sit and look at their house all the time. Makes them nervous. I can't, I see, there he goes. Well, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the tour of my garden on Memorial Day. Maybe one day you could send me a video. Love y'all. Bye.